Hey guys, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And today we will be doing a live streaming of opening and unboxing the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, there's two of them sitting right here in front of me. So actually one of them is mine. Uh, so I got the color of Aura Blue and then the fiance has the color of the Aura Glow. Now, for some reason on the shipping label, it says silver. So hopefully Everything came out the way it was supposed to uh, with the colors being of Aura Glow. Now, the other thing I also do want to do is head over. I just want to make sure that I'm going live, which for some reason it's showing a, a different um, photo. It says like, got the Galaxy S9, now what live stream? So I don't know, maybe I might need to stop this live stream and restart it. But basically this video is going to be about unboxing the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. So why? Did it show that old image? I actually have no idea why. I haven't done a live stream for a little while, so I'm a little rusty. Either way, how about we go through and we unbox the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. So first off, what I'll do is I'm gonna show you guys what I received or what I went for for the pre-order um, option. So this one um, is going to be the rugged case for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It looks like it has a little bit of a kickstand and we'll see how durable it is also in a future video. So really, I wanna show you what I got, um, but we'll do a full depth review of this case. The other case that I got was the S View flip cover case. Uh, and so this one looks pretty cool. It has a little bit of a different design. It looks like some of the information will be on the side of the case itself. Um, and then this one over here is a protective cover, but it's a leather protective cover. So again, we'll open this up a little bit later on um, and maybe I'll throw it on one of these phones when we do this video here. Uh, now the fiance went for something just a little bit better of some of the things uh, that you were able to get with the pre-order. So she went with some Bluetooth headsets. So this one is the N2. 200. So if there's any of these accessories that you guys pre-ordered, uh, let me know in the comments below on what you guys got. So right now I'm basically filming. I won't really be able to read your comments, um, but I'll be able to check them out later on. And you can also post it after the video actually goes live and I'll change the title and thumbnail and everything else. So other than that, this one is the N200. This is one that kind of goes around the neck. It looks like it is a threaded, uh, uh, neckband as well. So it looks like something that's going to be pretty comfortable. These ones are by AKG of the N200s. So now this one is the AKG Y500. So this one will go over the ear. Um, and it looks like this one will have just a little bit more power um, going in and out as well as looking at the ohms. This one has 32 ohms um, going at the 117 decibels. Uh, the smaller one over here has 16 ohms going at 116 decibels. Uh, and really, um, I I'm going to see if I can try these out and give a small little review, uh, but we'll see because this one technically is hers. And again, she went with the Aura Glow. So now let's actually open these two boxes up here. Let's see all of the contents inside of these boxes and let's check out the colors and compare them. Now, I did go to the unpacked event where I was able to see all of these colors. Uh, and so it's going to be really nice just to see it in the house itself. So first off, Going for the one that I pre-ordered myself, this will be the Aura Blue. So there we go. I'm gonna show it actually at the camera above. So here is the Aura Blue. Uh, and so this way, now you guys can see it as well. Now that just looks super nice. Um, now the only things we really need to do now is get some cases on these things as well as protection. So I already have some protection. Um, I have the Whitestone Dome Glass for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus already. So this will also be a upcoming video. So you wanna make sure that you put on a case and also a screen protector because the case is one that's gonna protect it from the drops. Uh, and then really the screen protection, you want it to be a tempered glass, not liquid screen protection. You want a, you want a actual tempered glass so that way if that one breaks it's your actual glass that is not breaking so it's a really nice phone really nice color so we're gonna put that right over here so here is the 25 watt charging you know adapter for the brick that's inside of the box so i read somewhere that someone mentioned that you don't get a brick in the box but i think they were talking about the 45 watt charging one but you will get your 25 watt and it is the usb type c plug that's on the end of it so you'll have type c on this end as well as another type c on the other end which will plug into your phone uh, inside of this little packaging here. So this one looks like a small adapter. So this way you'd be able to have type C 
that would be plugging into anything that's USB-A. So this way, if you wanna plug in an old phone, if you're doing Samsung Smart Switch, uh, or if you wanna plug in a keyboard or a mouse or whatever you want, uh, that right there is what this little adapter is for. Now inside the next area here is gonna be your USB type C to USB type C. So this one is the cable that goes one end into the phone and the other end into your little power brick. And really it doesn't matter which way you put it. So you will not have that large regular, you know, USB-C plug on one end that goes into a wall. So the nice thing about it is that with type C, you know, when you plug it in, you can really plug it in either way. So if you wanna plug it in, whatever it is, you're good to go. But the good thing is with the wall brick, you should more than likely not really, you know, plug it into the wall brick as much because this is just gonna be probably just sitting in the wall itself. And then here is the AKG headset. So when I was opening up the Galaxy A80, I was noticing that the headset inside of there is USB-C on one end, and then on the other end was just your headset. But they were a Samsung headset, which kind of seemed just a little, I don't know, it just seemed a little cheap. So I'm very, very glad that we got these ones here. These ones are AKG headsets. Uh, so you can plug these ones into your ear uh, and you still can plug it into your phone. So even though the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is gone, um, you are able to still plug this into the phone, which I don't really see the issue with. So, uh, and by now you should already have a Bluetooth headset already. Uh, but if you don't have a Bluetooth headset, here's the AKGs, they come in the box and they still plug into your phone, just a different port that is sitting right next to it. Uh, and really that's pretty much almost everything inside the box, except for where the lid is at. So when you go through the lid, inside of here is going to be a little bit of a user manual on the inside. And you also have your SIM popper. So that's what this metal piece is. You'd be able to basically pop out the SIM tray to put the SIM card in, um, as well as your micro SD card. Now, again, uh, there is no micro SD card slot. That is in the normal Note 10. That one is on the Note 10 Plus. Also in the box is gonna be different ear tips for your earbuds. So if you do need to you know, switch these ones out or if you lose these, or if you have a different size of the inner of the ear, you are able to change uh, the, the earpiece that goes on the inside. So that was really you know, unboxing this entire box right here. So I'm gonna leave this out uh, so we'd be able to compare this one uh, to the Aura Glow that's right over here. So again, your power adapter, um, and so let's move this out of the way. I'm gonna leave this phone right there. So now let's open up the Aura Glow. <laughs> so I'm actually putting this one towards the camera above me, uh, but this thing, it's basically kind of like a rainbow color. Uh, and I believe originally Samsung was gonna maybe call this one silver based on the packaging, uh, but they went over into the word of Aura Glow, which I think is a much better word uh, than just silver. Even though at some points, it actually does look silver, um, but it does have a huge glow. Now this one will have a pretty big fingerprint, you know, heavy back on the back of this one. Um, and I believe the blue one has it as well. So here is the two colors. Um, we got blue, and then we also have the Aura Glow. So I'm gonna show it also to the top camera here. Uh, so this might be used in a future video where I'll be basically doing a comparison of the two different colors, but here is the two colors side by side, Aura Blue and also the Aura Silver. So let's move that right over here. And again, in this box, it's gonna be the exact same thing. So inside of the lid on the very top will be pretty much a user guide along with your SIM popper. Again, for your uh, SIM card, as well as the micro SD card, as long as you have the plus version. Here is your power brick. So the power bricks and everything, it looks like everything is black. So you will not get like, you know, a white or silver plug if you get a white or silver phone, unless if you do, let me know in the comments below. But what I'm seeing here is everything will just be black on black on black, keeping it all just kind of uniform. Here is that USB type C plug for a regular you know, USB as well. So this is what you're able to plug in uh, if you are doing Samsung Smart Switch. And this one feels a lot lighter. I feel like there is less material or different type of plastic on the inside or, or feeling around this one. So it feels a little bit more cheap versus the other. You know what? I feel like I missed something inside of this little box. What is this little? Ah, 
Yes, I did. <laughs> I forgot about this for the note series. This one uh, is inside of this small little box that I forgot to actually notice on this one. So you guys might miss it as well. But this is if you need to take out uh, the tip of the S Pen. So there is a couple different tips in the middle of there, which I'll show it here on this camera, but you have a couple different tips in the middle of here. And then this tool is basically the, the, uh, the S Pen tip, you know, ejection tool. So if you do need to replace your tips, sometimes the, the varying colors of the tips are also a different type of, you know, are they, are they solid? Um, this one has a black tip here. So it kind of depends like, you know, is it more of a hard drawing? Um, is it more like a softer tip? Um, is it gonna be a thicker one? So this one right here will have that blue S Pen uh, that is going along with that Aura Glow color. So when you look at the S Pen and you look at the Aura Glow color, that is what you will get with that device. Um, I believe with all the other colors, they actually match the color of the phone. So if you get white, it'll also match white. This one is going to be uh, the Aura Blue S Pen that again matches with that device as well too. So let's kind of keep on going through this box here. Uh, this one again is going to be your USB type C to USB type C cable. So if you have USB type C ports in your computer, uh, you can just plug this directly into there without having that USB, uh, the regular USB A. And then with this one, again, it's going to be black, uh, the AKG headset or the earbuds. So let's say that we take this one out and it is a threaded or braided, uh, you know, headset or a little, little cord here. So it's going to be something that is going to be quite a bit more durable. And also it would not be able to tangle as easy. So again, AKG, you're still able to plug this into the bottom of your device. So this one is going to be the type C that's right there. Uh, if you do have other types of, let's say headsets that you have. So like, let's say, you know what? Good, good question here. Let's say that this brand new, no, this one's Bluetooth. What am I thinking? Well, if this one came with a 3.5 millimeter, uh, you know, port, which it does, it has the cable on the bottom for 3.5. Uh, so let's say that you wanted to plug this one in, then you just have to go off, purchase a dongle and plug it into the, the type C charger. And then you plug in basically a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack if you have older headsets. But really, when you're looking at everything in front of me here, you're, you've got a pretty good deal on a phone. And then you also have in box a headset that can plug into the phone. And you also had the pre-order options of getting all of these deals on something that is Bluetooth. So really, there is no, um, excuses to really being mad that the Note 10 does not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Samsung still gave you a headset in the box that still plugs into the phone within a couple millimeters of where you would normally plug it in at anyways, or you'd basically be able to get a Bluetooth headset for free. So I feel like everything kind of just evens out there. So Samsung, you did a really good job on that one. Uh, so this right here has been the unboxing of the Aura Blue and also the Aura Glow Galaxy Note 10 Pluses. Now, in the future videos, I'll be setting these up. I'll be doing videos of like the first 10 things to do. We'll be putting on all these different cases, putting on screen protectors and really everything you need to know about advanced features and settings and cameras and really anything and everything you need to know about the Galaxy Note 10 will be coming up. Um, one of the cases that she was wanting to have on her phone is this one right here. So this one is a Cosmo series. This one came from a company called iBlazen. Uh, I'll be able to do a review on this coming up here soon as well. So let's kind of get a look at what this one looks like, even though there's, oh yeah, you have to take off, I forgot, you had to take off this little front because there is this little, you know, plastic piece around rubber. So let me see if I can take this off. So you'll place your phone, let's do this. You place your phone inside of this plastic here. And then once she's sitting inside of there, you place it inside of the rubber outering and there we go. So even though it is covering up, <laughs> except for that little opening, it is covering up the color, uh, the beautiful color of the Aura Glow. So more than likely, I will be going for some of those clear plastic or the clear rubber cases. I don't want to cover the back of it, but this one looks like it has a lot of rubber to it, a lot of uh, protection to it. It actually does look pretty good. Um, 
it's not my cup of tea, but it's her cup of tea for sure. So this one will be the one that she'll be using. So more than likely, I guess I'll just leave it there. Let her take it all out. Uh, we already unboxed everything. Everything is just kind of sitting right in front of me here. So that has been the unboxing, a live stream, even though it has the wrong title and the wrong photo for some weird reason. I didn't, I didn't have an option to set all that up. Maybe I did, uh, and I haven't done it for a while. But other than that, I just wanted to have fun, hang out with you guys. Maybe you guys got your Galaxy Note 10s as well. Maybe you opened them at the same time that I did as well. Hopefully this thing is also still streaming. We're looking pretty good over here. Um, but other than that, make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. I will be shooting some videos um, probably tomorrow on the Galaxy Note 10. I'm filming a little bit of some shots here that I can use for a future video as well. But other than that, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe if you have not subscribed already, which more than likely, if you're watching this live stream, you're already subscribed because it goes out to the subscribers. But other than that, I am going to change the thumbnail and the title, and I'm going to let you guys go for tonight. Stay tuned for some future videos, and enjoy your Galaxy Note 10s if you guys got those things. If you haven't got yours yet, get ready to line up Friday morning, get in this device, um, and I'm super excited to play with this thing. I got to tell you what, I completely miss the S Pen. I mean, with my Galaxy S10 Plus, you know, I have my large screen. You know, I was good to go with that, um, but I did miss the S Pen quite a bit. Um, and I will be testing out, you know, some of the features and also some of the audio. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a great night. I'll, I'll see you guys soon and I'll talk to you later. All right, where is that stop button?